So it looks like we're headed for war, thick and fast, with Iran. And this all started a few weeks back when the British seized an Iranian oil tanker in the Persian Gulf. And they've now turned around and seized a couple of hours. And Jeremy Hunt's acting like a big boss man. I think he's trying to be prime ministerial. And he's calling Cobra meetings and things like that. Emergency meetings and all this kind of crap. And you can bet the last pound coin you have in your purse or your wallet or your pocket or wherever you keep your change, you can bet your last money that if if and when Johnson becomes Prime Minister, because it's looking incredibly likely, that uh, if Trump leans in his ear and says, you need to go to war with Iran, we need to go to war with Iran, that it will happen. Because Boris Johnson is Poundland Trump. He just wants to be Trump. And the British institution and the British establishment in general wants to please the Americans at the moment because we're looking for a trade deal and the only viable people that really look like they could give us one are the Americans. So it looks like it's going to be war. It looks like we're going to be led by the Americans into another blood for oil or blood for blood for fuel type war like we had with Iraq because Iran at the moment is sitting on the largest petroleum reserve on the planet. So I don't believe the papers when they tell you this is about territory or this is about protecting Britain this is about security national security this is about you know this is about revenge for them stealing our tankers etc it is not it's about petroleum and with the post brexit uncertainty at the moment that's what it's all about we need to try and find fuel find resources find a trade deal and what better way to do that than to go go to war with a country who has a large petroleum reserve and if we win we can have it in the process, we're joining forces with Americans who we need to please to get a trade deal. So it's win-win for us. Well, it's not win-win for the poor fuckers who are going to go out and die in this war. The poor working class boys and girls who are going to sign up to the military or have signed up to the military because they want to learn a trade or because they just want to make some money to feed their family and keep a roof over their head. Those are going to be the people that are dying. You will never, ever, 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 ever see the kids of Trump, the kids of Boris Johnson, Theresa May, Jeremy Hunt, any of these world leaders actually picking up rifles and going out to fight in these wars that they start. No, it will be your kids that go out and fight in the wars that they start. And of course, any politician, that, uh, especially in, in Britain at the moment, that advocates diplomacy over warfare, that says we should think about it before we go to war, is ridiculed and made out to be unpatriotic made out that they hate their country. Look at Corbyn. He's met with the IRA. He's met with Hamas and Hezbollah to try and reach diplomatic solutions to the problems that we have with these organisations. And every time he's done so, it's been thrown back in his face and he's been called unpatriotic, that he doesn't love his country and that he's a traitor. So that very idea of talking talking out one's problems is being ridiculed and thrown out the window. So it looks like we're going to have another war for oil a war for money and greed and power and petrol and fuel and it's going to be the poor working classes that pay the price for it as ever when are we going to learn the lesson that at the end of every single war throughout history every single war there has been diplomatic talks to divvy up you know what who gets what and who's allowed this and who's allowed that why aren't we starting with that why are why are we letting millions of people die in these wars without thinking first, oh, maybe we can talk this out. Maybe this is a, something we can come to a solution peacefully. You save many millions more lives doing it that way. So there you go, war with Iran, it looks like. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.